zone. They have not moved anywhere. This is a great showing of patience, but also a very big lack of versatility here. Yeah, there's 48 seconds left on the clock. They're going to start to have to get a wriggle on. It's just can they execute once again from this spot? They're going to have to to make this work. Because if they do, they're in a lot of trouble. Mungo, great firing here. Pex trades well. He gets the jump. Yeah, it wasn't a great grenade coming out from that XL5 player, but that was a great shot. We played another one. Hello and welcome back guys and girls to map number four, our fourth and final map of the night here. Match day number five of the ESL AUN NZ Championship presented by St. George Elfish Guy. That was pretty close, pretty close. at the end. They came yep. back from 15-7 down, so close to 15-14 and it, you know, that was that would have been it. That could have been it. There wasn't much in it, was there? No. I mean, uh, to be honest, millisecond selfish guy. Exactly. Milliseconds. Exactly. You know all about that. Six, Atletico 13. up against Skyfire now on their map of choice, being Atletico's map of choice of Mirage. And uh, yeah, I I mean to be honest, Atletico should be able to roll this one. Like should be quick. Should reasonably. It? I mean, Skyfire performed quite well there on Nuke. Uh, to be fair, but it did seem like Atletico on their CT side were just a little bit lost. Um, and coming on to Mirage, it's Atletico's best map of late. They've got like, I don't know, like 85, 90% win rate on it of late. Uh, and they haven't dropped a, a single rail wall. They haven't dropped Mirage at all throughout their season two. Okay. So, um, yeah. you know, it, it's looking like a fantastic map here for Atletico. And I just don't see Ag Skyfire again, picking it up. They should still be the favoured team. Uh, how do you think. A game like the one we just saw affects you as a team. Like you, you were so far down. You came back. Yeah. It was close, and in the end, it wasn't even like you got wrecked on the last round. It came down to a matter of judgment, a matter of milliseconds on that last defuse. I think just it, stolen, you know, stolen at the last second. I mean, it happens. I guess. Yeah, it I, does. That's sort of like I think the the feeling that would probably be in the Atletico camp at the moment. Obviously, they'd be disappointed, but you know. I mean, yes, Liaz probably could have won that round, should have won that round maybe even, but that's just how it is. Like, it, you, there's nothing you can do about it now, so just focus in on the next map. Yeah, so. absolutely. And, you know, I think revenge is on the cards here mm -hmm. for Atletico for sure. That's what they'll be thinking up. They definitely do not want to go down 2-0 coming from uh, what is the fourth spot on the ladder. It's not, it's not the best spot nope. on the ladder, but still they're sitting on some reasonable points. They're pretty safe in the middle of the pack. Yeah, but if uh, you go down 2-0 tonight, it definitely uh, makes your life a little bit more difficult. Elfish Guy says that Atletico should have this one. I probably agree here, and we will see infrequent going Tech 9 tank mode with uh, with a push onto the B site for the moment. A very quick forward push in mid, though, from Skyfire. We'll see very little information. And Steve, what can he find out here on short? Yeah, Atletico really do like to put that uh, the Tech Nine armor on infrequent. I've seen them do it a lot, but whether it's going to work out here is a question. All they need from Skyfire really is just uh, a headshot. It's the trouble with not being able to buy head armor against those USPs. But uh, here for Atletico, they've got control of mid, and they've got a pretty decent setup here for an A split. So. Don't know, is Skyfire going to be expecting this? Nikes has heard the movements of Wizard and he'll pick up the headshot there. Infrequent will trade him out though. And that's a one for one so far as Liaz is also able to pick up Animus. And now the A site control spiraling in the favor here of Atletico. They should get the bomb down relatively safely, but Infrequent, the big man with the Tech 9, is going to be taken down. So now back to a three versus three. As I say that though, Liaz able to pick up Chaotic. Still though, Team Skyfire have a pretty decent opportunity in this one. I mean, both of their players are relatively low on HP. Cruden is looking pretty good with that USP, though, as he finds the head of Chuch, and now a two versus two. And, well, we'll see what happens here. The bomb. Oh, oh no. no! I think Sonic stood up right into the crosshair there of Liaz, and now Liaz has to clutch this one out 1v1 to make amends for his misdeed in that one. He's got a couple of relatively low HP players to work with, 
And still has yet to get the bomb down, but there you go. He's going to get it down, but I don't know. I think he's been rushed just enough. 3% of the HP there fully has, and it's not enough as Cruden will close it out. Yeah, that was a, a bit of a chaotic round, to be perfectly honest, Elfish Guy. And uh, interestingly enough, uh, Skyfire went for two players with kits and nades, put one on each site, yep. so they always had a, a kit available. Did cost them in armor at the end of the round. Uh, they managed to pick it up. They do also find that Tech 9 as well. And uh, well, I don't know. At least feeling a little bit, little bit, little bit sad at the moment. It wasn't yeah. so good. It wasn't yeah. really his fault. <clears throat> his fault, though. Yeah, to be no, fair. Really. Like, again, it happens. Uh, not a great start from Atletico, and they're going to be on this uh, this eco now on their T side. But remember, they played Chief Summer Mirage as well. They got off to a pretty poor start. They were down something like 0 and 5, so they were able to come back from that one pretty oh, successfully. Pruden. Pruden's so that'll be a wow. free bomb plant here for the T side. No, it won't. Nope. There's someone in CT. They waterfalled out, and Cruden was just... Uh, Fiddling with his M4 there at the wrong time. Peeks back around the corner. And oh my goodness, there's five Ts on my site. Yeah. But it didn't matter. They picked up the frags. Easily done. And Atletico going to buy into round number three with AKs across the board. And up here onto Steve. Which way does he want to play it? Maybe uh, maybe into mid. Probably uh, probably his best bet. No, it looks like he's going B over side. to B site. Yeah, just going to hold apartments, I'd say, with that. Although it looks like the main force of Atletico will be making its way towards the A side, at least for the moment, though the smoke has slowed things down. Really comes down to these two Atletico players, whether or not they can take control of mid. You can see Wizard at the moment just peeking into underpass. They've also got Sonic floating around the top of mid. They haven't spotted anyone out yet. Steve's still holding the apartments here, hasn't spotted anything. No, quite a, a slow play here coming out from Atletico. Uh, they need to be careful. You can see here they've got a uh, limited utility to work with, only a couple of smokes, but a fair bit of f flash grenades. But really, if they get onto the site, they're going to have a difficult time holding it, I oh. suspect. Animus has spotted out Chuch, and uh, that should potentially draw a rotate here from Skyfire. Not quite yet, though. They haven't spotted anyone out yet else from Atletico, and also the bomb's not spotted, so Skyfire hesitant to, to rotate across just yet, but still, I mean, they have a, a fairly decent hold on this A-bomb site. They've got a very quick rotate in Chaotic in the window room, or in the ladder room, rather, but really, as Atletico make their way onto the bomb site, it's not working out too well for either team. It's a two for two, though. Animus is able to find one, gets traded out by Liaz, still now finding ourselves in a two versus two, and the bomb's going to go down in the smoke. Steve, Steve's come across to the correct side. He's over at Ticket, oh. and he's in a great oh. spot. Find oh. one. Liaz goes down through the through the smoke there, and infrequent the last that one. Collateral. That would have been exciting, wouldn't it? Infrequent. That's exciting. Infrequent finds Chaotic. Steve now with that AWP and a Tech 9. Not going to do anything. He throws the flash, but then runs out mm -hmm. before the flashbang goes off. That's not how they work. You need to wait for them to go off, and then they're useful. But uh, infrequent clutches out the round. Really a key clutch for him and his team. Brings it back to 2 1. They pick up that first gun round. Skyfire now forced to eco here. And, uh, yeah, really a good opportunity here for Atletico to uh, really put the pressure on and punish Skyfire for what could have been a, a good round three win. Yeah, well, I mean, Skyfire don't have much chance in this round, and Atletico just making their way forward slowly. Only having to really deal with uh, Crudon with that armor. The rest of them don't have anything. Uh, I guess a couple of flashbangs, really, but nothing to sort of write home about here for Skyfire on their fourth round. And Atletico just starting to get control of things here. Early on in the piece here on Mirage, you have to say that it wouldn't be surprising to see them continue their dominance into the subsequent few rounds. Skyfire, though, pushing up through the main area into the T-spawn. I haven't spotted really much out. They've found Chuch, but apart from that, Atletico are going to get into that B-bomb site relatively okay. Cruden is going to be taken down very easily there by Wizard. The bomb plant will go across. Yeah, very, very easily onto this B site. I liked, uh, I liked the use of Chuch there to hold onto T-spawn and counteract any kind of uh, cheesy flank coming on, and, and he managed to do that well. And we will see Sonic finding another frag. The Animus going to go down. 
He's chaotic. He's found himself a Galil, and he's probably going to want to keep a hold of this as well. So, we'll see if he gets the opportunity, though. We'll see. Wizard, good frag. Picks him up. One from behind, though. I don't know if he can hear this player. He checks, and uh, Liaz does not matter. We'll find the frag there. So, Athletico will have to buy a couple more guns into this round, but really, they're not going to be too bothered by that. Skyfire, on the other hand. Yeah, their economy is still not quite enough on a couple of those players there to really buy into this one. So it's going to be a double eco, actually, for the CTs. Don't get many of those around here. I wish everyone likes to force buy in. Ooh, but Chaotic, chaotic uh, might... Oh, he tags up uh, Leas, I think. I think it might have been Nikes, but regardless, he did... Oh, rip. Get tagged up. Um, but in the end, it's probably not going to be enough there for Skyfire. No. Well, he has actually found three frags. Getting the trip kills there. But 3-2 uh, now the score. And finally, Skyfire will be buying into this round with a uh, a significant purchase of Ooh. two AWPs. Let's see what Atletico can do against this. They... Do you, would you expect this after a double eco? It certainly lends yeah. itself to allowing that to happen, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, Atletico would be aware that it could be a thing. I don't know if they'd necessarily be expecting a double orb this early on in the piece. Uh, but then again, it is Mirage, so lends itself to those orbs. I don't think Atletico will be surprised to see it. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, nice nade from Infrequent. Absolutely cleans up Steve there. And uh, wow, Atletico across the board really just destroyed Skyfire. Chaotic with his AWP. It did not even come into the game. Was not used at all. Not just, uh, it's going to try and fall back and hold on to this. They're going to be hunting him down. I'm not even sure if they know that he had an AWP. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, they wouldn't be aware of it. No. Uh, they well, are now. Now they are. Wizard's going to try and do a bit of damage across. Only 96. There's a player up into the bottom of apartments. Infrequent. And the pop flash is good, but Infrequent is better. As Chaotic is going to go down there. And now another round going to be on the board there for the yeah, guys in Atletico. Four and two. Their economy really getting rolling now. Skyfire left. Struggling. Yeah, they certainly are. They want to, I would suspect, make the most of these CT sides here on Mirage. But... Losing after buying that double AWP from a, a double eco certainly uh, hurts the bank account. Atletico with one AWP there on infrequent one. I feel he probably found. Uh, so, Kardec pushes forward, gets picked up, and uh, not much again. Skyfire, I, I really expect not very little from him with his eco, or in general with their ecos, because Atletico seems uh, so much more comfortable here in Mirage. They definitely do. Um, yeah, I mean, there was a couple of nades that was bought there by Skyfire, so they were trying to get something at least. And you know, it's not a bad decision, but Atletico, of course, really heavily favoured into this one. And I like that Atletico are playing relatively slow here on Mirage, especially up against these ecos. It just doesn't give Skyfire much room to move. You know, if Skyfire tries to come to Atletico, obviously they're going to get ripped ripped apart with no armor or anything like that. So. Atletico leaving nothing to chance at the moment. And I think uh, Sonic spotted out one. Nikas did his best. Got a bit of damage across. But again, just with those pistols, it's not going to be enough. No, no. And as to be expected, uh, Atletico going to grab this round. You'd think uh, they're just uh, they're playing slowly on, on this B site, waiting for everyone to get there, ready to go. And yeah, they're going to take the side here, and there's not going to be anybody there. Checking every angle that they can. Yep. Yep. It's, it's, you can't complain from Atletico here. I mean, it's, yes, it's slow, but it's careful, and they haven't lost a gun yet. I mean, they're doing exactly what they need to do on those anti ecos so that's good stuff. No three-player stack behind a pillar on B-site. No. That would be unfortunate to, uh, to come up against, but... 5-2 will be the round score here, and uh, considering they lost the pistol round, it's good. It's a good start for Atletico. Looking very convincing here on their map choice, and uh, you can see why they picked it. I don't know, even even though uh, Skyfire had such a good first map, they're not looking too confident here. Now the roles are reversed. No, and I, 
to be honest, this was sort of expected heading into Mirage. It's just such a great map for Atletico, and really not a map Skyfire plays all that much. Again, I've said it enough. What, um, what, what was that? Sorry? I've said it enough. Said what enough? That it's a good map for Atletico and a bad one for so Skyfire. So why'd you say it again? Of course. What's your problem? Just having a go, mate. Having a go. Having a lend of ya. Kind of feels like Atletico's having a lend of Skyfire here. Well, certainly maybe the other way with Skyfire pushing up three very quickly into mid. They're not going to see anyone except for Infrequent who finds one frag. But the other four players are onto the B side and uh, Steve who was up the back behind um, behind bench there. Not going to get an opportunity to do anything. And uh, yeah, Atletico really ripping into Skyfire here. They definitely are. There's not really much that Skyfire can do about it because it just seems like Atletico are on point here on Mirage and oh, Sonic's in a good spot here to find a couple of these exit frags. Oh. One's there, and there's two. Easy peasy. Easy as you like. It's almost expected now for Atletico. <laughs> oh, Chutch, be careful, mate. But another round on the board there for Atletico. Six and two now. And it's a pretty lackluster buy coming out here from Skyfire. They've got a, a couple of Famasas. I mean, yes, it's workable, but no AWP. And Famasas in their place, really not great for Skyfire. No, certainly not great at all. But uh, they're going to make the most of it here, Elfish Guy, and, and see what they can do. They've uh, they pushed up again pretty far forward along that B site. And uh, again, one just looking into middle. But Atletico at the moment, I think they've got a feeling that A is where they want to go and they wouldn't mind an A split. They've definitely got the utility to make this work. Let's see what Infrequent can do here with the AWP. Oh, he gets Nikes too strong. And uh, that will definitely make it just that little bit more difficult for the CTs here. Smoke's going to come out. But Lears has already managed to get into uh, the A main part of the site. Infrequent, Infrequent. yeah, going to yeah. find Steve as well. Now Karik and Animus make that chaotic only. The last player left alive for his team in this fire round for Skyfire. An average fire round at best. It's going to go down quickly here. One would expect to... Uh, what's left of Atletico? That's uh, it's not so bad from Chaotic, to be honest. Yeah, he doesn't have a kit here, so he has to move quickly. It's going to be tough and gets taken down to 3 HP now. It's pretty much impossible. Chuch will close it out. 7 on the board now for Atletico again. Chuch will be able to take the AWP into the next round here for Infrequent, who's been doing some good work with it so far. Uh, I don't know. Skyfire, even if... What, what can they do here? They're going to attack pause, so that's probably not the, the worst of decisions. But really, it just seems like whatever site Atletico hits, wherever they want to go, they basically get there. They've got mid for free a lot of the time. or well, They've been able to get a kill into mid. Um, they've been getting the early picks. Pretty much everything that Atletico touches here is just turning to gold, really. Like, there's nothing that Skyfi has done that has looked good. Yeah, they've, they've really... To be fair, they've felt uncomfortable. They've looked uncomfortable. Mm. I can't... I guess I can't really speak to how they felt, but they've definitely looked uncomfortable. Yeah. And um, they haven't really been able to make anything of it at all, apart from they picked up a pistol round, mm. which was nice, right? But from there, it's, it's really... It's really just been downhill, so... Hopefully, for their sake, they can they can come through on this uh, on this um, on this break, this pause. Well, yeah, the last Strat five rounds or so are going to be pretty crucial. Six rounds, even. And this this economy that they have here, I mean, yeah, are they going to buy into this? Being it being that they've got a tag pause, you would think so. Yeah. Uh, but there's going to be. They a haven't got of much masters. money. They've got. Yeah. You know, I guess between between all of them. A few of them sitting on, on about 3k, one on 5k. Between them all, you'd think they could come out with something okay, but they, it's they definitely get a buy, not great. But it's not a good buy. And actually, they've decided, that it seems, not to buy. Well, they haven't bought anything just yet. So I would I would say that's probably a better decision. Um, just to, you know, hold off on this one yeah. and see if you can get a, a good buy into the next round. But again, it's just going to be another free round in the hands of... Atletico here, so at that point, eight and two. Things are really starting to get worrying. Yeah, it's been a great start here for Atletico. They played some good CS and certainly bounced back well from uh, what was probably a disappointing map number one in frequent. 
Going to find Crude in there with the AWP and uh, a free bomb plant. On the B site is what is on the menu. Yeah, so far so good. Haven't lost a single player. The last two remaining CTs pushing through from the T oh, side of the not, not feeling too comfortable right now. But he's got the backup there of uh, Sonic, so he'll be okay into it. And so it looks like Lias is pretty keen to chase down that yep. final kill, as he does. Free frags, the fun frags, mate. Yep. Look at that, two guys, three guys with 16,000 there for Atletico. Wow. So you can't get much better than that, really. Just shows the dominance that Atletico have had. Skyfire will be able to scrounge together a buy here. Well, not really scrounge. It's a good buy, but... Um, they're scrounging for cash, really, in general, so... Well, look, I guess it's not like... They, I guess technically they did scrounge together to buy, right? Because last Christmas they bought the kids nothing. Yeah. And this Christmas, this Christmas they've given them a good Christmas. They've given them a PlayStation. Yeah, exactly. But it didn't mean that last Christmas was much fun. No. So, I'll say they scrimped and scraped across a couple of years and picked it up. And Steve, going to make the most of, uh, of those savings and, and picking up one frag, Sonic... Very, very tagged up as well. They're going to get onto this A-side, however. Let's see what Steve can do from CT slash oh, ticket Nikes. if he pushes up. Nikes in a good spot. Come on, come on. He does find the frag a little bit unfortunate there for Sonic, but the bomb plant will go down, and Leas manages to jump across. So, Yeah, that, some good post-plant positions here. Yeah. They've got one connector. I don't think Skyfire are aware of that at all. It's going to be Wizard in a great spot here. does get traded out, but in the meanwhile, Infrequent has picked up one. Wizard has picked up one. And there you go, Liaz, to find the final. Only on nine, oh, it's 7 HP, but 7 HP is enough. That was a lot closer than it maybe would have expected it to be. But uh, Atletico coming through with the goods. Liaz coming through with a clutch after uh, a couple of unfortunate rounds throughout the, the rest of uh, <laughs> the, the match. He, yeah. he evens it all up with one round, I'd say, Elfish Guy. And uh, yeah, Atletico in a great position here. 9 2 now in the score. A few rounds left in this and ra uh, in this half, but if they can pick up Skyfire in this round, that you know it's not going to be looking good. Nope, definitely not. And uh, P90 on Animus is probably less than ideal. He's going to be holding really close to the smoke, so just hoping against hope maybe that Atletico charges out here and he can just hold down Mouse One, but it's not going to happen. Atletico look like they want to make their way over towards that B bomb site for now. Frequent holding a really nice line. Chaotic cannot afford to peak this. Yeah, and Frequent in a, a pretty good spot to grab this frag. The Molly's uh -oh. going to force Chaotic out of that spot. He's going to have to drop down in that flash. It's a good flash. Will, will save his life at just, at least for that moment, and uh, that's not a very good nade. No, definitely not. And Frequent might be good with the orb, but apparently not good with the HE nade there. Still, though, not going to hurt Atletico all that much. Liaz and Sonic getting some nice entries. And the B-bomb site pretty much completely open now that Chaotic goes down. Animus, though, he's rotated quickly with that P90. Only 17 shots left, but that'll be enough if he can get onto Sonic, who's on, like, 2 HP, 9 HP even, but really not the case. Cruden yeah. in 1v4. Cruden in a very difficult position. I think it's maybe a bit of an understatement, but... Atletico are going to come through this round potentially with uh, four players oh, left alive. The frequent gun. knows he's there, finds the frag. 10 to now the score. And yeah, look at that. Is that almost almost 16k across the board? Very, very close to it. Everyone in double digits there. And uh, Atletico having a very, very good T side of this map. It is their map choice, but hey. It's Mirage. You'd like to think that mm. most Australian teams, most Australian New Zealand teams, would have uh, a bit of experience on Mirage, as some might call it. Maybe no one calls it that. I think some do. Oh, great frag there from Infrequent onto Steve. And again, quickly Skyfire are down to only two players. Yep, Atletico looking good once again here. Skyfire relying on Chaotic. And. It's probably going to be difficult now that he's been spotted. Won't land the shot, and Wizard will. It's another one on the board there for the guys on Atletico. They're making this look easy, Elfish Guy. They're playing. This is the CS that I expected to see from them on map one. Yes. Yes, pretty much. Like, I did expect to see them doing a little bit more on map one early on. Um, but definitely this is what we would have expected from Atletico coming out here before the matches had have started. Uh, Sonic. 
Oh. Hmm. Yep, he's still here. Yeah. I was wondering what he was doing. I thought he DC'd. Oh, he's just, it's okay. just appreciating his knife. Yeah, well. Oh. Maybe he should have appreciated it a little bit longer because Nikas is going to punish him. And Steve's going to punish him frequent. Yeah, this is actually s some reasonable positioning coming out of Skyfire. They've got good coverage on the A site. They, they probably suspect this is where the bomb is. There's one player in the form of a Wizard over towards B. Um, but I'm not sure whether he's actually going to be able to do anything. He's going to try and grab it onto the site here. And Wizard gets dropped to 20 HP. Still five alive here for Skyfire. The second last round of the half, however. So even if they get something rolling on here, it's, it's too little too late at least for the first half. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Even if it goes to 11-4, like, there's... It's the same situation we saw on Nuke, but flipped, yeah. really. Um, Chuch is going to go down there now, just down to Wizard in that 1v4. Not going to be able to do it. So, at least around on the board now for Skyfire. It's uh, three, so... I want to say enough to play with, but I really don't... I don't believe it. I don't believe that it's enough to play with here for okay. Skyfire. They probably needed five. It, the game's the over. Elfish guy has called it. We're done. Well, let's. Uh, I think we can just call it quits. Cut the shut the stream down, boys. We're good. Time to go home. Might might be. It could be very quick. To be fair, this you know, we could be only uh, another five minutes. another five minutes away from the end of the game. Yeah. If Atletico gets in strong with a good CT pistol round. Yeah, exactly. But so. this is a very good. Uh, Good round coming out from Skyfire, and they drop all of these players down to infrequent. Look at that nice, nice double there at the end for Chaotic. The score 11 and 4 as we go into halftime. But as we said, too little, too late, to be perfectly honest. Yes. Like they lost so many rounds in a row. Yep. You get that momentum at the end, but your economy's gone. It doesn't matter. We're reset. We're swapping sides. Mm -hmm. And even if uh, Skyfire is able to come back with a pistol here, uh, it's. It'll put them at maybe 11-7 at best. Mm -hmm. It's going to be incredibly tough to dig themselves out of this hole. We almost saw Atletico do it on the first map, uh, but I, uh, yeah, I still, but I just feel it just feels like on Mirage, it, everything is weighted so much more heavily in the favor of Atletico than it is for Skyfire. So, yeah, I think I would agree. I think this uh, this could be a, a, a very quick summary here at the end. They they could push through very very quickly mm -hmm. again. They get that pistol round. I think there's limited. Limited things that Skyfire can do. Yeah. But uh, we'll have to find out. Yeah. yeah let's head shall. back into it, ladies and gents. 11 for the score. Skyfire with a ton of work to do here. Probably more than we both suspect they can do. But I am definitely open to be proved wrong here. And it's going to be an A rush coming out from the T side. Sorry. When B. I say an A rush, I mean the, the, the letter that comes after A. That would be, uh, that would be B pretty sure. And onto the site they go. They've got three alive. Chaotic down to 31. Nickers gets taken down. It's a two on two. Church and Wizard now up against Chaotic oh. with that bomb plant down. Chaotic in a very, very difficult position. And they pick that one up. That was almost exciting there, Elfish Guy. Unlike the vast majority of the other rounds, unfortunately. Yeah. The, there was nothing he could do in that 1v2 situation. Church was just in a great spot from uh, short. Having a bit of fun with the, the pistol on the ground there. But... Uh, Atletico, importantly for, well, not really importantly, but nicely for them, importantly for Skyfire, <laughs> they don't get that one. And Look at this buy coming out from Skyfire, by the way. This is uh, this is really cool. And by cool, I mean at least interesting. Um, yeah, they got the bomb down. Yeah, it certainly helps. a lot of kills. I think uh, unexpected, we will see uh, the AKs thrown across to players uh, holding onto armor. Whilst Chaotic and Animus will be there with Tech 9s and uh, no protection of any sort. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind this from Skyfire. It'll probably catch Atletico off guard. Not something that you see a lot. No. For good reason, though, to be fair. Well, I mean, when you're down 11-4 or 12-4, you have to try and go for something. You definitely do. It's one of those situations where you talk about, in what world do we win this? How does this play out? Yeah. And it plays out by probably forcing round two. That's the only way you actually succeed. Well, might have been a better idea just to save round two and buy into round three because they got the bomb down. But I can also see the sense in buying in round two just to try and catch Atletico off guard. Unfortunately, Nikas has already gone down, so they, the guys from Atletico know that there's a buy here from Skyfire. Though, a one for one in the end there, really. And it's, well, Chuch and Wizard, 14 HP. 
all summed yeah. up. So maybe Sonic and Liaz can bait these two out and get onto the site, but actually Sonic pushes first and Cruden finds the double. Sorry, Liaz pushes first. And uh and he finds the double wizard and Sonic up against Steve and Chaotic here. The bomb ticking away very, very quickly. Yeah, there's no kit here. There's for no Athletic kit. Here. Yeah, that's it. That's what's key. And they've come through. And they've uh, they've forced in this round, and they've succeeded. 12 and 5, Elvish guy. It's going to be this score. Yeah, who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? So, well, let's put the spanner in the works a little bit there for Athletico. They'd have been thinking, yeah, we got a nice, clean, easy win here, but... Uh, still a bit of work to do, and are they going to force into this one? It would be unsurprising, considering it is Atletico. Yeah. I wouldn't blame them, to be honest. Keep keep some pressure yeah, there on there. Go. Really don't let Skyfire get underway. They lost three players. Um, they're going to be able to buy in uh, a little bit a little bit of money spent. We'll see Leaz there on the scout, though. No scout for infrequent, interestingly Sonic's enough. Sonic's pushing. If he catches Cruden here, it's it's huge. But Cruden spotted out the weapon. Oh, Sonic gets back alive. Got to go fast. Hmm. Oh, wizard peeking. Probably not the best of idea. Cruden was very ready for it and... Well, that's going to be nice for the uh, T side. Chuch, though, might be able to trade it. In the end, he is. Still a two for one when you have subpar weapons is less than ideal. Skyfire going to be rotating over to the B side, it seems. It's going to be down to Liaz, the jumping scout. What can he do? Chuch is rotating pretty quickly, so if Liaz can slow things down, this could be looking dangerous. Oh, this Molotov is going to make life difficult, though he picks up Animus. And did he get a tag across to Nikes as well? I think he might have. Now th suddenly things are a bit alive here. Chuch is going to find one. Gets traded out. Chaotic also able to pick up Liaz there. But... Oh, I've, I have faith in Infrequent to be able to do this, to be honest. if he Oh, they peak at the exact same time. Very, very well played there from Skyfire. Nice some, faith, mate. Yeah, doing the sidestep. I can have faith. And faith is when it's, you know, when your faith doesn't come true, that's when it's, it's really tested. It's when it's really tested right. for the next time. Right. Yeah. Well, that next time here for Atletico is going to be just an eco round. Obviously forcing into the previous one. To be fair, Skyfire played that well. It really, it's it's pretty, it's easy to do well, right? You peak at the same time. Well, you say that. It should be easy. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. But it doesn't, doesn't always, always that way. does not always play out like that at all. Chuck's going to go down to a combination of rifle fire from Nickers and Animus. Leah's uh, trying to find something with the, his USP, but... Uh, not much to expect from Atletico on this eco round. Skyfire are, are, to be fair, starting to get a few rounds back on the board here. Yeah, Twelve back. seven, looking a little bit but better. But oh, Stephen Cruden, that's it, man. That's, that's what's left here. This has been a great eco actually for Atletico. Well, Wizard in particular was able to pick up two pretty quick frags and has really swung things back into the balance. I'm not going to say it favours Atletico just yet. Skyfire still looking pretty good, but oh, Sonic, can he get this one? If he does, it would be huge. Nope. Steve picks him up. Now infrequent with that AK. Is this where I have faith in infrequent again to do show how my faith works? Do you? Well, do you, do you? 30 HP, no armor, no utilities. Look, it's a big ask, right? <laughs> it's it's probably bigger than a big ask. It's, miracles it's do ask. happen. Miracles do happen. It would be part. a miracle. Let's just leave it at that. It would be a miracle. He's on the wrong side of the map. Now he's he's picked it up. He's worked it out. He's coming across. He's going to maybe get across in some good time to get a, a one tap here you ready yeah, maybe you ready for a, for the one tap to save the day is he gonna oh, pick out through the smoke? he's going to push out he'll through get the out smoke. through the smoke safely and hasn't still hasn't been spotted so he's very close into the site without having been spotted though he needed to close out a kill there probably for this to be a possible situation for him now, peeking around the corner there. He does take down Cruden. Oh, my word. Now we're getting a little bit close here, Ben. Maybe the faith is real. 30 HP versus 100. But all we need is one bullet from that AK. He unfortunately checks the wrong angle. And Steve is going to pick it up. But, oof. Yeah, a little bit frequent, close there. Frequent seemed pretty convinced that he was in, the in there behind van. the van. Yeah. yeah. Not sure what made that happen. But he got close. He got close. No cigar. 12-7. Now the score buys... Across the board, no AWP for the CTs. One AWP over to Steve, though. Atletico still in a strong position to close out this map, but Skyfire is definitely making a game of it now. Yeah, these t these CTs pushing really needed to punish Steve there. and I mean, they do get one kill, but they get traded out quite easily, and now we can start to see Skyfire get a bit of control again. They've got control of that A-bomb site, and... 
Mid control is in the favor of the CTs for now, but Chaotic is going to smoke this. Wizard looks like he's going to push it. Chaotic, he should have heard those steps, and it looks like Wizard will be punished here. No, he won't, but eventually Animus takes him down. Certainly does. Sonic, the last one left alive for his team. The bomb plant goes down. Will he find a frag? He does. He's got two flashbangs up against Steve's AWP. Uh, and that Molly, so he's going to try and force him out, maybe flash something here. Yeah, Steve can't afford to sit there, well and he done. does pick up that kill. The well Molotov done. was very good coming out from Sonic, and that's an important round now for Atletico. They swing things back in their favor. He's got that AWP on hand for next round as well. Picks himself up a smoke in the meanwhile. And yeah, that was, that was great work there coming out from Sonic single-handedly. Winning his team that round 13-7. Now the score. What is Skyfire going to do? They are going to buy into this a, a, a subpar buy, I would say, but a buy nonetheless. Chuch himself has it for Mars and Leas has that UMP, so that's not great for Atletico, but they do have an AWP, and uh, they're on the CT side, so one would think that things are probably in their favour. They win this. That's probably game... And not match, I suppose, but... Uh, oh! Good shot from Infrequent. Doesn't manage to get time for the second there as he is taken down by Steve. It's a three versus three, though the smoke is good here and Chud should be blocked out from that site. The bomb will be pretty safely planted here for the T side. And Chud is going to be taken down. So, looks like Skyfire will once again be able to pull around out of the hat. Unless Sonic does something crazy, but I think that's asking a little bit too much. Yeah, I think it's uh, a little bit unrealistic, and he finds one frag, but that should, uh, to be fair, be the end of that. He's happy to keep a hold of his M4 and get out of dodge here. 13-8 now, the score. Skyfire bringing it back. To me, it's still too much to ask, but I really hope I'm wrong, because I would love to see this come back to uh, a little bit closer here, Elfish Guy. Yeah. Spice things up. Yeah. It's only 20 to 11. Really that late? Still got plenty of time here. If we lived in Korea, it would only be 20 to 9. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the knowledge bomb. <laughs> we lived in Europe, mate. It would just be during the day. That'd be excellent. Good. It'd be 3 o'clock, something like that. <sighs> if you're just coming home from school. I don't go to school, mate. About yeah. 5 years too late. I think that's the problem. I think that's the problem. Eco round going to come out from Atletico here. I'd say it could be a 13-9, but we've seen Atletico win uh, win in stranger situations than this, to be perfectly honest. We certainly have. And Sonic's got an M4 to work with. He's been doing some good work here so far on Mirage. And, ooh, Animus has dropped down to 19 HP, so Atletico will be wishing they had a grenade in this situation. Although Sonic, he could find himself a crucial frag here. Uh-oh. What's going on? He's going to go down there and touch. Did manage to pick up Nikes for it. So Animus still surviving on that 19 HP. Another, uh, again, like an easy kill for Atletico if they get the opportunity. There you go. Chuch will take down Animus. But it's only a MAC-10 retrieved, so not the gun that Atletico would have wanted. But there we go. They've yeah, got an AK. AK and an M4 on the boys to work with here. No armor makes it hard and no utility even more so. But they, they're starting to get a good idea of where Skyfire is pushing. It's going to be the B site. And uh, maybe, maybe Chuch can get round in here to do some damage from behind. Leah's oh. in a good spot to find a frag. There's one. What's he going to do with the second? What's Steve going to do with that AWP? Well, that was a good grenade, and he's going to peek up with that USP. He's only got three shots left on this M4. He's actually favoring that, but in the end, Steve takes him down without him firing a shot. Very good response, though, from Atletico, and there you go. Yeah. Stranger circumstances, stranger things have happened, Ben. Mate, I bought the Stranger Things soundtrack today. It's pretty good. Congrats. It's pretty good, but it's all like like 80. The one thing that I, I don't like about it is that the songs are only really short, because obviously they're just snippets from the from the, from the the show. Did you end up watching it all? I did. Don't We won't spoil it. It's good. You should watch it if you haven't watched it. If you run out of CS, then you should watch that. Cause Anyone would think we're sponsored by Stranger Things. Mate, I would be happy to be sponsored by Stranger Things, to be honest, because it's a pretty good show. It's a pretty good show. With this buy from Skyfire, they've uh, they're trying to do something with it, but um, really, really limited resources. They've got armor. They 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 force through, and they're going to force them to the A site through the smoke. They go, Elfish guy. No yeah. regrets. 
Well, no regrets come. yet. Yeah. Uh, they haven't actually lost a player. And it's going to start off, though, with Nikes killing his teammate. Wizard will get one, so still a two for two. Wow. Steve, though, coming up big with that Galil. Now it's down to infrequent. There are a couple of very low players for Skyfire. Infrequent, this Molotov might actually kill it him. It does. Is he? Now it's a two versus three. Good position from Liaz. Not going to be able to close out the kill, though. As Cruden picks him up, and there you go. It's Sonic to take down Cruden in the end. Infrequent did... Do some good work with that AWP. Gets two kills and Mate. Uh, defusing the bomb. And frequent, on the board. frequent brought the fire. Do you like how I use that? Because that's yeah. the Team Skyfire motto. Yeah, I, I kind of get it. Is it? I thought so. I don't know. I could be wrong. Might be. And maybe it was before. I don't know. I'm going to go with saying correct it is. But 15-8. Now this score in Atletico. Yeah, I, I can't imagine a scenario that Skyfire wins from here. Uh, you know... It, it, Really, Atletico, very a very dominating uh, performance here on their map pick yep. of Mirage. They had a great T side. This CT side, to be fair, has been pretty good as well. Still still a pretty dominating performance. It was just a little bit of a, a segment in the middle there. Um, but I would expect that they should be able to grab this round, to be honest. We saw that last round, that eco round win. Oh, well, the round before. Oh, even. Liaz, he's yeah. in a great spot here on short. He's going to hear all of these guys running around in the ladder room. Nikes will find one, but Animus is going to be taken down. That's the bomb as well spotted here for Atletico. And Liaz, you back him to get this. He will do it. It's two now on the on the death board there for Skyfire. Yeah, and Liaz got full control of the bomb here on short. And uh, Skyfire with three players, one smoke, and a minute on the clock to stay in this map. They want to try and bring it back to 15. All they want to get the draw, get that one point, which would in reality be a 4-1 a win worth of points for them. And uh, in frequent, going to find Cruden there. I think it's uh, a little bit a little bit too late here for Skyfire to do some work, but let's see uh, Let's see if they can do something. Steve has to play. They have to make they have to make plays here, Office Guy. They have to make this happen, otherwise yep. they're done. They've only got 30 seconds left to play with, and Steve trying to be so careful, but he's going to run into that crossfire. Does find the first one onto Charge. Almost oh, got the wow. second there onto... I think it was Sonic, yeah. Still down to Chaotic now, and uh, he's been completely flashed out. I think they know pretty well where he is, and that's it. Liaz is going to pick it up. The win for Atletico on Mirage. Certainly do. Congratulations to them. They really dominated on their map choice. They struggled on Nuke, and to be fair, well played to uh, to Skyfire on Nuke. They picked a map that maybe they thought Atletico would struggle on, and they were correct for them. It's a shame they couldn't follow it up on Mirage, but mm. Atletico is showing us the plays that we expected to see perhaps on map number one and showing why they're one of, uh, one of the top teams in the region. Yeah, look, I mean, I think, uh, you know, the good thing about the structure of how this tournament runs is that you do get to see some teams picking some sort of crazy map picks like Nuke, yeah. forcing the opponents to really sort of try and adapt. And in this situation, you know, if it was something like a, I honestly, I don't, again, I don't expect to see Skyfire picking up Nuke. So, you know, just good, good job from them to go into the vetoes with sort of a plan mm -hmm. um, and be able to pick up the victory there on Nuke. Uh, obviously, Mirage there for Atletico's. Pretty standard. I think, and I think most obviously everyone would agree that map pool diversity is a, a very important feature, mm -hmm. you know, of a, a strong Counter Strike yeah. team, and with more, more teams from our region heading overseas and, and doing battle. Well, it might be something that might hurt Atletico later on down the track because mm -hmm. they're essentially perma banning cobblestone. So, um, you know, it, it obviously allows other teams just to be like, okay, they're going to ban cobble. Let's figure out what we want to pick here. They have such a big map pool. It's not like, okay, well, maybe we we ban out something else. I don't know. Maybe maybe time for Atletico to pick up something uh, in the department of Cobblestone. Yeah. Well, interesting day, Elfish Guy. Two, two one ones coming out across the board this morning. We Surprising. Saw, yeah, we saw Parallax up this morning, earlier even. Just yeah. Maybe this morning if you live somewhere weird. Uh, Parallax up against One Stop, and we saw One Stop... Went 16-8 and then lost 9-16 on Cobble and then Mirage. And then we just saw Skyfire take down Atletico on Nuke. But then they lost to Atletico on Mirage. So the first games, they swapped results and won their opponent's maps. And the second games, they won their own maps. So yeah. really not much uh, not much in the way of changing 
on the on the ladder. To be honest, the first game was one v two, and they they both picked up three points. Yeah. The second game was four v five, and they both pick up three points. So yeah, for those four teams, they're probably pretty close. What's interesting though will be team immunity tomorrow mm -hmm. when they go and play their match. They're they're sitting in second place. Definitely an opportunity for them to pick up two wins and uh, push up towards the number one spot. Mm -hmm. But we'll have to wait till tomorrow to see that. Thank you very much for joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time tomorrow night with four more teams and four more maps. See you then. All right, thumbs up, listen up. There's money to be made and you're made to make the money. And I'm here to help you, to help your thumb help you get $50. Yeah. All you have to do is sign up for a complete freedom account with St George. That simple it is. Now, move, tap, up, <laughs> down, soldiers. Do you want $50? Yes, ma'am, we do, ma'am. What a bunch of indexes. Open a complete freedom account today.